Good evening. This is The Late Report. Well, nearly 31,000 senior citizens in Washington state will lose their medical insurance because they're being dropped by health maintenance organizations. The HMOs are also reclaiming all the sets of dentures that they've issued, saying we never said the seniors could keep them forever. <laughs> Carnival Cruise Lines is offering a special Ryan Anderson baseball cruise featuring the Mariners' 1997 first-round draft choice. Carnival also plans to offer a Bobby Ayala baseball cruise where everything goes great for eight days, but on the ninth, Ayala sinks the boat. <laughs> the crew of the anti-whaling protest ship, the Sea Shepherd, has been told by the Coast Guard to quit firing their cannon near the macaws hunting canoe. The Coast Guard pointed out that besides scaring the macaws, the protesters had accidentally blown the crap out of three whales. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the late report after this brief political announcement. Bill Ashton for Congress. Bill is working to better our community. And he's not afraid of tigers. Bill will work to lower your taxes. And he has fantasies about members of the band Los Lobos. Bill Ashton likes eggs. And he's not at all the kind of guy who gets uptight at the sight of two naked women kissing. Paid for by the people to elect Bill Ashton. Two naked women chairman. Welcome back. Well, hat and boots may be turned into an espresso stand, although no one is certain at this point if the boots would be restored to restrooms as they were originally. Experts say the restoration would seem to make sense. For several years, local transients have been re referring to the place as pissin' boots. <laughs> Congress has agreed to begin paying for Senator Patty Murray's new federal program aimed at hiring 100,000 teachers during the next five years. Unfortunately, due to a clerical oversight, all 100,000 will be gym teachers. <laughs> 41 million gallons of raw, untreated sewage were dumped into Puget Sound at the West Point treatment plant due to a power failure. When told of the dire situation, the plant supervisor said, well, that is a load of crap. <laughs> Finally. The Herb Farm in Falls City held its annual Halloween dinner last night called the Boo Ha Ha. Tomorrow night, the, the Hemp Farm near Duval will hold its annual Halloween event called the Ha 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 Ha. Who has the nachos? This has been The Late Report. Stay with us because we're coming right back.